My name is Chris, and this is Chris Astrology. Today, we will be talking about Enneagram 4, their relationship style, their sexual style, and uh, their love preferences. So, to be honest, I have never dated or had a partner who was Enneagram 4, at least as far as I know. But I had several friends who are in a ground floor, and I also read a lot of books and articles to find out more about their love and sexual preferences. So what I saw from those articles is that a lot of people think that in a ground floor are very deep and we want relatable love connection. And I personally, I totally agree with it. I believe in a ground floor is totally capable of loving other people and they can be very loyal and very dedicated partners. But I also think that in a ground floor can sometimes uh, have more trouble with discipline, such as uh, being a parent, and it sometimes can come harder to them than to other people. Uh, for example, I believe that Enneagram 4 can have very deep uh, relationship with our kids based on their imagination and their ed education we give our kids, and our kids will be very bright and very adventurous, sometimes have more trouble with busy work around kids. The same I think about marriage because uh, I think Enneagram 4 I probably would want to marry for true love, but sometimes it uh, can make them make decisions very quickly or just marry into love and when the love is gone, like we don't know what to do. But if they pick their partner smart, we would probably be very loyal partners. We would have very wonderful relationship with them. We would totally understand each other on a soul level because I believe what Enneagram 4 is definitely looking for is well soul collection with a partner. Uh, I think that uh, when we're talking about Enneagram, it's interesting to think uh, what uh, is the main goal that Enneagram is looking for in relationship. For example, Enneagram 8, I believe they're more looking for more sexual and more intense side of relationship. But Enneagram 4, I think, is definitely looking for love. And it would be very hard for her in violent stance. I know Enneagram 4 who has violent stance and some of them even enjoyed it, but they still trying to find some, some connection with the person before hooking up with them. I don't think Enneagram 4 would be a person who just met somebody on Tinder or Grindr and then it comes to their apartment and hook up with them. Uh, some Enneagrams can do it. Like I think Enneagram 3, Enneagram 7, maybe Enneagram 8 can do it. But Enneagram 4, I think we would need to talk for about several weeks before they have sex with somebody. And ideally, we would like to have sex only with people who we are in relationship with. Uh, to be honest, I know Enneagram 4 have a lot of partners and I know have very few. So I don't think there's like some average, but it just means that no matter how many partners they have, they usually have meaningful connections with all of them. And they probably remember their names, their faces. And yeah, I think it's the same about close friendship. I believe if you become friends of Enneagram 4, even if it's not sexual friendship, but just platonic friends, they'll still remember you and still very care for you. For example, I have a friend online who's Enneagram 4 and we never like saw each other in person, although we have some mutual friends, but I know they really care about me and I care about them. So I believe they very true friends and true partners. They know how to love and their love sometimes can be very strong. Usually it is very strong. And um, yeah, please, if you're dating Enneagram 4, don't break their heart because I think this Enneagram is very sensitive and we definitely want true love. I remember I was dreaming that Enneagram 4 wing 5 is more bohemian. And I think it's very interesting because it shows that Enneagram 4 wing 3 is like more into maybe like traditional romance and like courting and being like this, uh, beautiful vintage couple while Enneagram 4 wing 5, we would probably want to be more free loving and more open-minded with our partner and just probably go on a lot of the road trips. I believe a lot of Enneagram 4 wing 5, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe a lot of Enneagram 4 wing 5 would do some art. A lot of people who I know are Enneagram 4 wing 5 are doing some kind of art like drawing, dancing. Yeah, I believe it's totally their thing. 
while I can think that Enneagram 4 and 3 would be more into history and just like vintage style, while Enneagram 4 and 5 can be more indie or even like maybe something more alternative like or, or, or funk, golf, or emo, but still like some beautiful aesthetic we're really good at. And uh, what are uh, good couples for Enneagram 4 to date? I know Abby how and I really like her work, like she was saying, uh, but there is no best combination for Enneagram couples. And I believe it because I don't think there is like one match, which is ideal. But I also read that Enneagram 4 goes well with Enneagram 4 and Enneagram 9. And I kind of understand why it can be like this. I know there are some other combinations which work very well. For example, one of my favorite would be probably Enneagram 4 with Enneagram 8 because it's kind of Enneagram 4 being like over soft and feminine and very delicate while Enneagram 4 8 being very masculine. But I also think, yes, two Enneagram 4 can go very well together because it would be very deep and loving relationship where people really care about each other. Probably there'd be no cheating, no like, anything behind the curtains, just a true love of two really romantic people. Like I remember I read somewhere that both Romeo and Juliet were Enneagram 4. So yes, it, it's like kind of like love from first sight. And Enneagram and 4, Enneagram 9, I can also see it as well because Enneagram 9 is very accepting and Enneagram 4 wants somebody to take care of them. But I can see Enneagram 4 with every combination. So just some combinations are right online that they go very well together but i honestly believe all combination can go well if you both are on the same level and both know what you want from life also i believe that um enneagram 4 is very feminine so usually um, it uh, can make males presenting more feminine. It doesn't mean that they will be gay or bisexual, but probably in a ground four males would not be the tough kind of male who just wants to dominate everybody in the relationship. And they can be more soft dominant side of a partner or even be more submissive in the relationship. While a woman, no matter of her sexuality, even if she's lesbian or bisexual, it's an interesting study, but I read uh, in a book that Enneagram 4 women are also bisexual and it's true from my life as well. But like, yes, even if a woman is dating a woman and they're both Enneagram 4, uh, Enneagram 4 women would still be very feminine. And uh, even if she queer, you would not see it from outside because she would still be very feminine and motherly. She would probably be with a uh, queer woman who still has her family and even if she's married for other women she would still have a more or less traditional uh, marriage life where we both would be mothers and raising their kids I believe and a ground four eventually want to have some kind of stable relationship no matter if they want to have kids or not but like they're looking for some true love and true commitment to a partner and uh, yeah I think um yeah, be gentle with Enneagram 4. They're very loving and very kind individuals. They're very good friends and lovers. So please uh, be gentle with them because they get scared of people who are too intense and too dominant. So yeah, I believe they're very soft people of Enneagram who really wants to find their love and peace in the world. I hope you enjoyed my, my video. If you want to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram or order a birth chat ring for me. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and goodbye.